How can everybody be asleep? Don't they know I'm getting married today? I know it's 6.30 in the morning, but think, in a little while, everybody's gonna be right here on the roof, and Luis and I will be getting married. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm scared to death. But mostly I feel so happy. I want to stand here and shout at the top of my voice, today is my wedding day. Go ahead, sh shout. Hi, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I couldn't sleep last night. I stayed awake thinking about Luis, thinking about the wedding. <laughs> I know Luis. I'm sure he couldn't sleep either. I bet he's a nervous wreck. Maria's wedding day, so much to do, how quickly the time goes by. Getting ready, it's Louise's wedding day, best suit, best shoes and tie. Getting ready, it's Louise's wedding day, bringing my bats, weddings make them cry. <laughs> There's gonna be a party. Everybody dancing. There'll, There'll be, be music, music and love running free. There's gonna, gonna be a party. party. With such a happy feeling. What a disgusting day this is gonna be. What a morning. Perfect for a wedding day. They'll get married and then when they see it. Such a happy wedding day, maybe tomorrow they'll get married again. <laughs> oh, no, wait, 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 Friends and family, perfect for wedding day, and sand uncles are here. Friends and family, perfect for wedding day. For my next trick, I'll make them all disappear. Hold up, not peanut now, bush. Not now, Mumford, not now. There's gonna be a party with everybody dancing. There'll be music and love running free. There's gonna be fiesta with such a happy feeling. Oh, what a wedding day this is gonna be! What a morning! Happy morning to one and soon they'll be on their way! What a morning! Happy morning to one and all! The train to Spain was late today and eight pulled the brake. And made it get away. The agents made a chase but lost his trail. He escaped by a plane. Hanging on the tail. But the ace was afraid that the ape wasn't tame, so he tried to shake him by making it rain. By making it rain. The ape bailed out. Sailed through space, prayed he'd land in a nice, safe place. Well, the eight was days, his aim was okay, his fate was changed. By a bell, a bell of hay! The eight braced 
the way for he had a date with his favorite pastry birthday cake. Now straight to the gates of his great estate, he grabbed the plate and said, Sorry I'm late. Happy birthday to you. Friends yelled, hooray. The rest of the day, they drank lemonade, ate a lot of cake, and when they were through, they cleaned up after themselves. Hey. Hey. All the apples. Most of the apples. Some of the apples. None of the apples. None, some, most, all. We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Uh, Hi-ho, this is Kermit the Frog for Sesame Street News, and I'm speaking to you from uh, London, England, home of the famous London Fog. Now, the fog, as you know, is a sort of... Uh... Hello, Gov. Hmm? Boy, you're the bloke what wants to talk about the famous London Frog. Uh... Well, where I am in the froggy flesh. London Frog at your service. Uh, no, 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 you, you don't understand. You see, I don't want to talk about the London Frog. I want to talk about the London Fog. Boy, my mistake. Well, frog rhymes with fog. Uh, well, they sound the same, frog, fog. Well, that explains it. Uh, yeah. Boy, I got a brother what looks like you. You do? Yeah. Poor blighter. Well, I'm off. Uh, well, anyhow, the, the city of London is well known for its fog, which is a thick sort of a cloud. Sir! Uh, here you are, sir! I believe this is what you're talking about, sir! The famous London log! Uh, no, no, that, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about if is If I the... may say so, sir, this is the finest log in London. It belongs to the Queen herself, sir. She said it's okay if you want to talk about it, sir. Uh, well, well that, that's great, but I don't want to talk about a log. You see, I'm here to talk about the London fog. The fog, sir. Well, the fog? Yes. No! Well, I beg your pardon, sir. Mm. Fog and log do rhyme, you know. I know. Yes, that would explain the mix-up, yes. Yeah. Well, you're sure it's the fog you want, not the log. Is that right, sir? Uh, yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, well, sir, uh, as you wish, sir. Uh, mm. Well, there really is no accounting for taste, is there? Sir! Uh, yeah. Uh, now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the London fog. Now, the fog is thick, it's damp, it's... Uh... <laughs> So, so sorry I'm late. Well, yes, uh, tied up at the club and all that. Well, shall we get on with it? Uh, get on with what? And who are you? Oh, so sorry, old chap. Whatever can I be thinking of? Lord Hog here, yeah? of the famous London Hogs. I understand you want to talk about me. I, I, no, no, no. I, I do not want to talk about a famous London Hog. I want to talk about the London Fog. The Fog, sir. Oh, the Fog. Yes, yes, of course. How silly of me. Well, ha, natural mistake. <laughs> fog rhymes with hog, and hog rhymes with fog and all that. <laughs> well, no harm done, though. Still have time to get back to the club. <laughs> Cheerio, then. Uh, well, as I was saying about the famous London fog, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's gone. It's gone. I don't believe it. I had all those interruptions, and now there's nothing to see or to talk about. Chin up, old man. The lads and I have something for you to see. Uh, what now? We're here to do the famous London clog. Jolly good dance, don't you know? Oh, well, great, but what's that got to do with the fog? Well, sir, clog does rhyme with fog, you know. They sound the same. I, I know. Hmm. Besides, the famous London clog is a dance we do when the famous London fog goes away. Ready, mates? Let's dance. Returning you to your regularly scheduled program. Come on, mate, let's have a go. Two. One, two. One. Two. 
One. Two. Two. One. Two. 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 Oh, no. Well, Elmo going to do something very important at Maria and Luisa's wedding. What? Elmo going to carry the wedding rings on this little pillow right here. And when they're married, they give the rings to each other. So? Well, so Elmo the most important person in the whole wedding. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -huh. Luis asked me to be an usher. So? so? So, when people come to the wedding, I meet them at the door, and I show them where to sit. So, I'm the most important person at the wedding. Ha! <laughs> Double ha! Ha ha ha! No, that's, no, no, that's, no, no, hey, no, wait, no. Wait, Hold it right there. What? After the wedding, yeah. when everybody comes down here for the party, uh -huh. I'm going to be the waiter, and I'm going to carry the food around on trays and give it to people. So? So, so I'm the most important person at the wedding. Oh, no, oh, no, yes, no, I am. no, 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 Well, they no, wouldn't get any food without it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, wait, wait. hey huh? listen, I think you guys are forgetting something. What? I'm the one that's getting married, remember? So? So? So, if I hadn't given you all these jobs to do, none of you would have anything to do at all. So, who's the most important person at the wedding? Look, I got beautiful. Maria's wedding dress. Beautiful. This is gonna look so pretty oh, on her. She's gonna oh, make look at the, the most beautiful bride. Oh, I know. I can't Maria. wait to put her wedding Mary. dress. Yes. Oh. I can't wait. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. So who's the most important person at the wedding? Maria. That's what I was gonna say. Snacks on parade. The Raisin. Life begins for the Raisin as a grape hanging on a vine in bunches in sunny California. Grapes are so sweet and so delicious that some people wanted to save their grapes for later. People tried keeping their grapes on ice. Some people kept them on the radiator. But no matter what, it was always the same. Icky poo. You just couldn't eat your grape later. It wasn't until the inventor of the raisin accidentally left a bunch of grapes in the sun while she did the wash, painted the house, and played the piano. Sometime later, she found her grapes were shriveled and brown from the sun, but so sweet and so tasty that she put more and more grapes out in the sun to dry. She put them in boxes, called them raisins, and gave them to friends. And the friends gave them to friends so they could eat them later. And they did. I love you too. But what is love? What? What, what is love? Um, love is something that there was hugs and kisses and a warm feeling inside. Yeah! Boy, love sounds great. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Just a second. No, I wasn't doing anything important. Are you coming to the bridge club tonight? Now, are you going to bring the chips and the dip? Oh, that would be just swell. You bring the cookies, too? How about one of those party mixes? Oh, gosh, we could put peanuts and checks. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, how about dinner? What are you making for dinner tonight? Are you trying that new recipe that you got in that magazine? Did you clip it out? Oh, I know. I've never seen stroganoff look quite like that. <laughs> well, I tried to get one of those patterns. Oh, it just didn't work out. Oh, yeah. If I came home with that on, Ralph would just kill me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. There you are. Come and get it.
La 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 la. Oh. Hi, Gina. Hi, Big Bird. Say what you doing. Well, I'm writing everybody's name on these place cards here, and then at the wedding party tonight, when people need to know where they sit, they'll just look at their card and find their name. Radical. You mean one of those cards has my name on it too? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, where am I gonna sit? Well, is there any place special you'd like to sit? Oh, um, I, I don't think so. Well, I know someone I'd especially like to sit next to. You do? And his name is right here on this card. Let's see. Hey, that says Big Bird. Uh-huh. That's me. Hey, isn't that nice? You want to sit next to me? Yes, Big Bird, I oh. do. Hey, that's nice. I want to be near to you. That's where I should be. There's only one place for you. And that's next to me. I want to be close to you. Come shower or shine. And when you pull up your chair, your chair will be next to mine. I want to be near to you. Don't want to be far. Just want to be you and me, wherever we are. So don't you dare be there when you can be here. I want to be near to you. Hey, Gina, you know what? What? I feel the same way. You do? Yes. Good. You'll be next to me? <laughs> I want to be near to you. That's where I should be. There's only one place for you. And that's next to me. And if you should go away, I'd sound the alarm. I want to walk down the avenue with you arm in arm. I want to be near to you. Don't want to be far. Just want to be you and me, wherever we are. So stay right there and don't you dare disappear. I want to be near to I want to be near to I want to be near to Hi, Snuffy. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Guess what? What? Gina and I have been setting out the place cards for the wedding table. Uh -huh. And I'm going to sit right next to Gina, uh -huh. here at this table. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, Bird, uh, you're my best friend, and, and I wanted to sit next to you. Oh, dear. This is terrible. I'm so sad. Oh, no, wait. No, Snuffy, please. Please don't be sad, please. Okay, look. look don't cry, look. Snuffy. No, look. No, wait. I got it. Okay. Snuffy, look. You, here's your place card, okay? Now you, here, sit. Just sit in front of your place card, okay? All by no, don't myself. worry. Yeah. But watch. Okay, now, here's mine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now I'm going to sit in front of my place card over here. And where's mine? And Big Bird. Here's yours, you see? You sit oh. in front of yours. Oh, hey, okay? this is perfect. Oh, All right, Snuffy. hey, oh, this is a great idea. Well, I'm sitting by my place card, and Snuffy, look, I'm sitting next to Gina, but I'm also sitting next to you, too. <laughs> wow, you're sitting next to both of us, uh -huh. Bird. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a great party. Oh, yeah. Uh, may I have a B major, please? Thank you. Now, uh, may I have a, a G minor, please? Thank you. And now, may I have an A, please? A. Well, uh, thank you. Hey, love can keep you you're a guy or a girl or a goat who's in love and a float on a boat. Ooh. If I can sing this note. Hi there, Seagull. Mm. Oh, wow. You know what I love? I love this boat. Mm. I really do. I really love this boat. I mean, if you're going to talk about something that I love, then let's talk about this boat. Because no greater love hath any person 
for any boat than I have for this boat here. Mm. Whoa! Good morning, Ernest. Oh, good morning, Amanda. Do you know what I love? Oh, what do you love, Ernest? Amanda. Yes? I love... Yes? I love this boat. Oh. I really do really love this boat. Oh. Mm. Oh, well, I love this boat, too. You do? Oh, yes. I adore this boat. Oh. I am crazy oh. about this boat. Oh, good. In fact, my cup runneth over with love for this boat. Oh, wow, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I love it. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Yes. Do you know what we love? Oh, yes. I know. You, you do? do? I know. You love this boat. Yes. yes. And you love, love this boat. boat. Yes, You yes, both love do. this boat. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Oh, you love this boat so much it's coming out of my ears. Yes. Oh. And you want to know something? What? Do you want to know something? Mm -hmm. What? I love this boat, too. Oh. You do? Oh. Yes. Wow. Oh, oh, we all love this yes, boat. Love it. Hi, fish. Hey, you know what? I love this boat, too. Oh, oh yeah. we love this Hey, everybody. Everybody, you know what we love? Huh? We love this boat! Right. Oh, I love this boat! I love this Day. Luis and Maria are getting married. Yeah. Any wedding day is a magic day as far as this old magician is concerned. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what am I gonna do? I've lost my tie. Well, what tie is that, Big Bird? Well, my wedding tie. 
My necktie? Yeah. I, I'm supposed to get dressed for the wedding now and I can't find it, so what am I gonna do? Oh, gee, Big Bird, it's almost time for all of us to get dressed. Mm. I don't know where your tie is. Um, well, maybe David and I can help you look for it. Huh? I'm... Have no fear, my large yellow friend. The amazing Mumford is here to solve your problem as I perform my famous super duper getting dressed for the wedding trick. You, you mean you'll help me find my, my necktie, Mr. Mumford? Absolutely. The amazing Mumford will simply wave his magic wand and say the magic words, and you will be perfectly dressed for the wedding. Wow. Wedding setting a la peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> well, that should have done it. Did it work? Oh, I'm afraid not, Mr. Mumford. I still don't have my necktie. Oh, oh Rex, hmm. this trick almost always works. What could I have done wrong? Mumford. Look at David. Let me, look at that. Look at those shoes. That's fabulous. That's nice. All polished and everything. Look at these pants. This is groovy. Look at that suit. Fits just right. Look at that tie. Boy, I'm really dressed for the wedding. I look cool, man. I look real cool. Indeed you do. And you're dressed for the wedding. My trick worked after all. But, 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 Mr. Mumford. Excuse me, but David looks good and everything, but... What about me? Your trick is supposed to work for me, remember? Hmm, so it was. Uh. Well then, my canary-colored colleague, let's just try it again with the magic word slightly altered. Stand back, here we go. Wedding, zledding, a la peanut butter sandwiches. Did it work? Did I get my necktie? Oh, gee, Big Bird, I'm afraid not. Oh, but oh. Gina, look at you, you look beautiful. Wow! Look at this! Oh, look, I got high-heeled shoes. Look at the pink dress, the corsage. Look, look at this hair. Oh, gee, it looks I great. Love this. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, dressed for the wedding, and my trick <gasps> is a thundering success. Oh, but everybody's dressed for the wedding now except me, Mr. Mumford. Oh. The trick was supposed to be for me. Hmm. Mm. So it was. Well, then it's bound to work for you sooner or later. So let's give it one last try. Here okay. we go. Wedding schmetting a la peanut butter sandwiches. Oh boy, I hope it worked this time. Oh, oh no. no, it didn't, Big Bird. Oh, <laughs> Say, look at Mr. Mumford. Hey, Mr. Mumford, it... you did it. Wait, That's my necktie, your magic work. Good oh. trick, Mumford. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Nothing to it as the getting dressed for the wedding trick triumphs once again. Yeah, come on, Big Bird, let me put this on. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, I remember the last time I did this trick. It was for a cute little couple called Charles and Di. Dressed up, all dandied and dressed up, all feathered and pressed up, and feeling so fine. Dressed up in our best formal design Outshine all the rest of you, aren't we divine? We beg your pardon, but fancy That you could be carefree And almost as happy as we see how we're blessed with so much zest with every button buttoned and every press pressed we're dressed up and aren't we the best A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z C A A B B C C D D E D F G G I J J K K L L M M N O N O P Q R R S S T T U V V W W X Y Z. Amazing.
grazing, beautiful creatures dancing, excite the forest glade. In my heart, how I do jump like the hoodoo, listening to the music so nice the organ played. Quietly press the sleepy tiger under the vine tree at the waterside and X marks the place neath the yellow moon where the Zulu chief and I did hide. Gumnandi, Gumnandi, where the Vietnamese are. Epiman. Adventure. Here you go, buddy. Hey. For your buttonhole. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks. Sure, sure. Well, how are you holding up? Do doing okay? Uh, doing all right. Just thinking about Maria, how I feel about her. I get married. Yeah. I'm happy that I love her and proud that she loves me. Each day our love grows stronger and I'm all that I've longed to be With love that lasts forever I know I'll always be Happy that I love her And proud that she loves me I know I'd better get dressed. I don't want to be late for my own wedding. Calm down. You want me to calm down? I can't. I'm getting married today. Mm -hmm. But you know, what I mostly feel are my feelings for Luis. I'm happy that I love him and proud that he loves me. Each day our love grows stronger and I'm all that I've longed to be. With love that lasts forever, I know
Bernie, hmm? uh, this may seem like a ridiculous question, but what are you doing? Oh, I'm teaching Bernice here how to play checkers. Your move, Bernice. Bernice, you're, your move. You're teaching a pigeon to play checkers? Mm hmm Why, well, yeah. that, that's, that's amazing. That's the most incredible thing I've ever heard of. Oh, Bernice, it's no big deal. No big deal? Mm -mm. Why, why, a pigeon that can play checkers? That's, that, that must be the smartest pigeon in the whole world. Uh, well, she's really not that smart, Ernie. Not that smart, Bert? Mm -mm. How can you say that? Well, uh, in the ten games we've played, mm -hmm. she's only beaten me twice. Okay, Bernice, go ahead, you move. We live in a village way up north, in Alaska. It's called No Attack. There are no roads and no cars. If you want to visit us, you take an airplane. And every winter, the doctor comes to visit to see if all the children are healthy. We go to the health clinic with the doctor and the health worker. Many people come to the clinic to see the doctor. Okay, that sounds good. Right over here. The health worker weighs us and measures us to see how much we've grown. 45 and a half inches. My, you're a tall boy. Let me see. 50 pounds. Man, you're heavy. Look into your ears, over okay? King. All right, just turn your head to the side. Please. And the doctor checks our ears. Turn over this way. Take a real quick peek here. Good. Eyes. Now, look over here, Trina. I'm the fastest in your eye. Open your eyes real wide, real wide. Just look right over here. There we go. And mouth. And mouth open up. Say, ah. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, Trina, let me have a listen to your heart and lungs, OK? Let me put your shirt up. He listens to how we breathe. I'm taking a deep breath. Very good. Another one. Okay. And he listens to our hearts. Great. Now let's listen up front over here. Listen to your heart. Very good, Trina. Ears, eyes, mouth, breathing, hearts and when he has seen all the children he flies back home until next time bye
We are here today to celebrate the marriage of Maria and Luis. When two people get married, what they do is make a promise to each other. Luis and Maria are making a promise today. A promise to share their lives together. A promise to help one another and care for each other and love each other for the rest of their lives. They are celebrating this promise in front of you, the people they love most, their friends and their family. Look at her, isn't she wonderful? It's altogether possible I've made a major error. My hands are cold, my forehead's hot. It's either love or terror. I guess somewhere there's somebody who thinks a wedding's fun. But if I were in five stories high, I'd run. Look at her, isn't she wonderful? I used to dress her up like that. White lace and a great big party hat. Parece mentira que haya crecido tan pronto. Isn't it funny? I've seen her each day of my life. Now she's becoming, becoming Luisa's new wife. I'm not used to thinking of her as anyone's wife. Isn't it funny? Second thought It's altogether possible I've made a major error My hands are cold, my forehead's hot It's either love or terror I guess somewhere there's somebody who thinks a wedding's fun But if I were in five stories high I'd Look run Look at him, isn't he wonderful? Mi sobrinito Se ha convertido en un verdadero hombre, Luisito. Now when I look at you, I see the handsome young man I used to be, Luisito. Sometimes I wonder how I would feel being married. If I were married, would it be to someone like you? Sometimes I wonder how I would feel being married. I wonder if you ever wonder too. I wish I knew. Don't trap the queen, Thelma, please, Thelma, don't trap. I wish her father could have lived to see this day. He would be so proud. I wish they'd let that lousy organ music play. It was nice and loud. Look at him. Isn't he wonderful? Look at her. Isn't she To be your wife in good times and bad. To love her and care for her always. I do. Do you, Maria, take Luis to be your husband in good times and bad? To love him and care for him always? I do. Don't drop the rings, Bob.
I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Like honeycomb and spider webs and starfish in the sea. I believe in little things like icy drops of rain that melt into the morning mist when winds are warm again. I believe in little things. Like colors in the sky, and noticing the waves roll in, and how the flowers die, and knowing they'll be back again whenever there's July. I believe in little things like you. And me, and just how big little things can be. by the letters A and L and by the number two.
Sesame Street is a production of the Children Television Workshop. Ah, ah, ah.